hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how to do a steel design according to the euro code 3 ok uh, this is our problem so check the photocopy of this section of i section and uh, steel rate is 275 loaded by informally if you read loading head load 8 kN per meter and impose load 6 kN per meter beam length is 8 meter and beam is fully laterally restrained and the beam is on 21 meter bearings that means 100 mm bearing at each end which is the weight of beam so this is the diagram of our beam we will design for this steel beam this is uh, steel eye section side view and these are the bearings design bending moment uh, for find design bending moment we have to find design load design load w equals to 1.35 gk per 1.5 uk 1.35 and 1.5 are the partial shift factors so in euro codes we use these factors and uk is the dead load and uk is the import load you can get it from here right now once we simplify this we can get this answer of 19.8 km per meter then design bending moment MED. How you find design in uh, design bending moment? So we can find using this relationship. So I will show you the common relationships of common beams. So these are the relationships for bending and shear force. Uh, these are bending moment diagram. These are shear force diagrams. So as you see here are different common beams ok this is our case so maximum bending moment is w squared o8 and this is the shape of the bending moment diagram and this is the shape of the shear force diagram and maximum bending moment sorry the maximum shear force is w over 2 right now we use that relationship so in me d equals w squared over 8 w is design load 19.8 and we use the span S span is 8 meters okay S span is 8 meters so once we simplify this we can get MED as 158.4 kN meter. Then we can move to the next section. Next section is section classification. So I am not going to explain this section classification in this video because I have done a, a video for this section classification. I will put the link of that video you can go and watch it so in section classification not this other procedure we have to get the steel data in our section properties so this data can be obtained online so i will put the link of that website as well this is the website so as you see you can get this whole information online from this website ok this data can be obtained from that website and next we have to find F5 so for that we use our code our code is 043 this code 043 design of steel structure part 1 and later we use part four, oh sorry part five 
so we have to find f5 and then we have to find silent we saw all things are expanding that video then we have to check plan check then we check under bending so once we classify our cross section it comes our section is class on plastic here overall section class for bending is class 1 plastic please go to that video section classification video then we can move forward resistance of cross section bending moment requirements are given in page 52 in our code page 52 here yeah. there is a close 625 bending moment the design value of bending moment NED at each cross section shall satisfy this requirement it says NED over NCRD, uh, NCRD is then or equal 1 so we can move this part into that side then we can say NED less than no equals NCRD what is NED? NED we found before mm, here we calculated NED as 158.4 and we know NED so what is MCRD? MCRD is defined in next clause. The design is resistance for bending about one principal axis of a cross section is determined as follows. So there are three equations. So we have to select it according to the our cross section class. So our cross section is class one. So we have to select this equation because for class 1, for class 2 cross section, uh, we have to select this equation. So it says NCRD equals NPLRD equals WPL FIO gamma naught. What is WPL? WPL is the plastic modulus. We can open from these steel tables, this, this data tables so basically there are two columns axis by a and axis is it is it. so we have to select the image axis so by looking at this small picture you can see um, y y is the major axis this is an i section and y y is the major axis therefore we have to select value from this table right this table and we have to select according to our section okay we have to find new section so now now we know wpa and if i be found before gamma and not gamma and not can be obtained from page 47 in page 47 here we are given m and not equals to 1 so now we know all parameters uh, WPL is 896 times 10 to the power 3 so these are came from the unit conversion so we have to convert units because if you know that before uh, this transistor modulus it's it is given as cubic centimeter so we have to convert it into uh, cubic millimeters then we can simplify it because we can't uh, simplify units different units so we have to get same units right okay mplrd now we can calculate once we simplified this, we can get 246 kilonewton meter. Our requirement says 
accounts is MUD should be less than NCRD. So NCRD plus the NPLRD. That means MUD should be less than NPLRD. So MUD is 158, NCRT is 246. So therefore our requirement is satisfied. Is okay.